verse 6. Jesus' students asked him, Should we fast? How do you want us to pray? Should we give money for the poor? What special food should we eat? Jesus said, Tell no lies and do everything with love, because in this way all that was hidden will become obvious. Do not fast, you will sin. The one knows your bodies need nourishment. Prayer by formula will condemn you. Talk to the one from your heart instead. Do not give to the poor indirectly because this will harm your soul. Give of your heart and yourself directly. When you go to another land, be respectful of their customs. Then if they accept you, eat what they offer you. This acknowledges their act of hospitality. Heal anyone with them who is in need of healing. What you put in your mouth will not hurt your soul, but, you, but what you say can poison your soul if it is not true or said with malice. Verse 7. Jesus said, Blessed is the ravening wild animal which becomes a person when consumed by a person. This is the evolution of the soul. Cursed is the person who is the ravening wild animal that consumes. The person becomes a ravening wild animal. This is being ruled by animal passions. Verse 8. A fisherman who drags his trawling net through the water and hauling the net up full of scrap fish but finds one prize fish among the scrap fish would be wise to keep the prize fish knowing that it alone was worth the fuel and the trip out. Seek the higher truth, which is love. Verse 9. Jesus said, The farmer broadcasting seed had some fall on the road. The waiting birds ate them. Some seed fell on rocky soil, which made them sprout, but their roots could not find soil, so they did not bear any grain. Some seed fell in the bramble, where they were overshadowed by the weeds, and the bugs ate them. Some of the broadcast seed fell on cleared good soil. They alone produced grain. This yield of 60 bushels per acre, and with the help of angels, a yield doubled to 120 bushels per acre. Verse 10, Jesus said, I have lit a match to light the world, and I am shielding it until it becomes a bonfire.